Hey guys, welcome to the very first video of this brand new channel. Uh, um, I still have to figure out what I'm going to call it, <laughs> so I guess you'll see that before uh, you actually see this video. Uh, thank you guys for uh, checking out this video. Uh, this is uh, an unboxing uh, video of the brand new iPad Air 2 in gold 16 gig. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi only model. Mostly uh, that's how I always get my iPads because I don't carry a lot of data on my iPads. Uh, that's what my iPhone is for. And I can also tether it to my phone so I don't really need 4G or anything like that. Um, so this is completely off the cuff. I haven't really taken a look at the, the iPad yet. Uh, so you guys are going to get my first impressions right when they happen. So uh, let's get started. I went ahead and, and took care of the plastic shrink wrap. I just didn't want you guys to sit through that. And uh, first, let's go ahead and start off with the box. Uh, there's the iPad Air logo, uh, a bunch of mumbo jumbo there with the the, CV, the EPC and all that crap. Um, so yeah, there's the box. As always, beautiful as uh, pretty much every Apple product is. Um, let's go ahead and open it. All right. So, there it is, the iPad Air 2 in gold. Uh, first things you see is the new fingerprint sensor. Uh, not sure how much I'll use that since I usually just use the power button and then I you know, slide to unlock, but it's nice to have it. It's definitely better looking than the old home button with that uh, gold ring there. But, uh, yeah, that's nice to have. Now, then we have the front-facing camera. I have read that uh, it is a higher resolution, which will definitely help out with uh, FaceTime and maybe taking pictures if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, but other than that, it definitely feels very light. It feels lighter than the iPad Air, which I'll compare to in a second here. Uh, now, let's uh, take a look at what they're really boasting about, that 18% decrease in thickness, which I can already feel is going to be pretty apparent. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That is very thin. <laughs> yeah, they were not kidding. Wow. All right. That's very, very thin. Um, let me see if we can compare it to, oh, here we have instructions and, you know, they'll probably have Apple stickers in there like they usually do. Uh, here's a, a new lightning cable. Maybe we can kind of give you an idea of just how thin this thing is. Uh, well, let's use the, the USB port here, or cable. That's pretty much as, as thin as the, the USB Type-A cable here, or connector here. That is, yeah, there's, it's maybe one or two millimeters thicker than this. That is, that's incredible. <laughs> Uh, Apple's done it again, I guess you could say. Uh, other than that, let's take a look at the rest of the iPad. Uh, once again, we went over how thin it is. The color is very striking. It's beautiful. You got the, the gold iPad logo there. It's very, very nice to look at, to hold. Uh, you got the, the, the volume up and down uh, switches, Ooh, which they feel a little bit clickier than the iPad Air 1. So that's nice to have. I'm going to go ahead and power it on there. Uh, power button, uh, still right there. Um, the, the mic is no longer there. Uh, looks like they moved it to here, maybe here as well, uh, right next to the new camera, which I do believe is a higher resolution now. Um, I've run up on some of the specs, um, although <sighs> camera on an iPad only morons take pictures with iPads. So I won't be using that too much there. Uh, speaker grills, as always, very nice finish there. And uh, what I like is that they kind of embossed, uh, or embedded, whatever you want to say, a, a gold, a darker gold fitting right here in the power button, or in the power um, port, uh, the lightning port, whatever you want to call it. It's it's a darker gold. I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe it's just shinier. I'm not sure. It's not matte like the rest of the iPad. But that's beautiful. It, it matches the Apple logo. That's a very nice styling cue. Um, and now other than that, I know that the A8, A8X uh, processor uh, gets a nice bump in performance than the, 
the old iPad Air, which is nice because my iPad Air definitely uh, kind of runs out of steam there quite a bit. And um, so it's nice to have that extra bump in power. Um, and just feeling how thin this thing is, is pretty incredible that it's not only thinner, but also faster and same battery performance. That's, that's incredible. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much hardware-wise that you can kind of take a look at. Other than that, in the packaging, as always, we have the, uh, the travel charger as well as the lightning cable which I showed you earlier. Now let's go ahead and, and compare it to the iPad Air 1. So here's my iPad Air 1. Or I guess you can just call it iPad Air. Um, mine, don't mind the bubbles there. I was in a hurry when I installed the screen protector so it looks like crap. Uh, but this one's already sold to uh, a lucky eBayer so that's on, on its way very shortly sir. Uh, other than that, this is the 16 gig, once again, Wi-Fi only uh, iPad Air, and uh, it just already feels heavier and thicker, and <laughs> it already feels like it's from another age. Um, but yeah, it's the same components. The only thing different there from the front is uh, is a home button, and uh, and it just feels thicker. It feels. It actually feels more hollow than than the iPad Air 2. I'm not sure if you can hear that. This feels like a bongo. Yeah, this one feels hollow. This feels thicker and 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 just more solidly built. I'm not sure why, uh, but here you have them side by side, back. Here's a side there. Oh, let's get the. Oh, what the? I didn't even notice that. They got rid of the toggle switch there. Okay, that's weird. Little lame, to tell you the truth. Um, not sure why they did that. I, I always use the the mute toggle switch just because it's so much easier to get to, and you don't have to hold down a button. Uh, so I'm gonna miss that. I, I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it's just Component-wise, it got in the way of the design uh, when they were trying to get this thing to be thinner. I kind of get that, but either way, that's that's kind of lame. Now, oh, let's go ahead and have you check them out there. That is pretty thin there. That's a big difference. You can just see already just how much thinner it is. Wow, that's incredible. Looks like Apple did it again. Um, bottom of the iPads, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, it, oh, one thing that I notice here, you got two columns or rows of speaker ports or holes. Uh, on the new iPad Air 2, you just have a single file, but they are in, larger in diameter. So that's nice to look at. Um, I guess one thing we can do here is just have you guys check them out side by side. Alright, let's have you check them out side by side here. Let me just grab my, my phone so I can use that as a viewfinder. I'm using my GoPro, by the way. Uh, so here is the fat boy, um, the iPad Air from last year. Uh, once again, you got those uh, two rows of speaker grills. Uh, I think I like the new design better. Um, not that this isn't nice, but, <clears throat> you know, there it is. Now, let's have you venture over to the thin side. Look at that. That is incredible. Just look how much thinner that is. That is unbelievable. And they can do that. And here's a new iPad Air 2. Uh, once again, you got the speaker grills there. Much cleaner design, I would say. Um, one could call them speed holes. I'm not sure, but uh, they look beautiful nonetheless. And uh, here yeah. is a little bit more of a side profile there. That's, that's pretty telling just how far their engineering goes sometimes. But it's not all perfect in the Apple world. If you guys have uh, transitioned over to iOS 8, that definitely has had a pretty rocky start. Uh, there's been problems with 
with Wi-Fi connection, with texting, with uh, orientation on the screen. Uh, it's been kind of a nightmare, but hardware-wise, Apple very rarely fails. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, once again, this is my very first uh, episode on this brand new channel. Uh, once again, I'm still not sure what to call it, but I'll figure it out once I go ahead and post this up. I definitely appreciate your guys' support not only on this channel, but also my other one, uh, which is the Darth Magnus. Mostly car stuff there. On this channel, I'll review uh, electronics, uh, movies, TV shows, pretty much whatever the hell I want. I'll go ahead and, and post it up here. Uh, I always love uh, when my subscribers go ahead and post questions, concerns, comments, whatever you guys want. So always be sure to post a, a something down below. Uh, share, like, subscribe. Um, you know, post it on Facebook, Twitter. I always appreciate the support, you guys. Um, but I do want to leave you with a question: What do you think Apple can do on the next generation of iPads to really? Innovate. I mean, how much further can they go? Can they go thinner? Can they go bigger? Uh, you know, uh, whatever your imagination can dream up. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. So down below, go ahead and and um, and post up what you guys think Apple will gravitate towards for the next iPad. I want to see what kind of ideas you guys can dig up. Uh, <laughs> obviously, by the look of my kitchen, I don't work for Apple, <laughs> so it's not like I'm here to steal your ideas. Just go ahead and post up whatever you guys think the iPad will gravitate to. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Here's uh, Darth Magnus signing out.